Hey guys, Brandonia Productions here. Now this video would normally be uploaded to YouTube, but to celebrate uh, the new renovation of Megabyte TV, which is created by uh, Mobile Phone 2003, Duncan, Mob3, whatever you want to call him, or it, um, to celebrate the celebration, I'm going to give you guys a nice Megabyte to TV only access tutorial. Now, this, as you may know, if you're on my YouTube channel, you'll know that I'm, st I'm making a series of tutorials on how to create your own website for personal use or for small businesses. Well, now I'm going to teach you how to create your own software for personal use. Okay. Now, a as you know, I own a website called BrandonSoft.com. Okay. I make software, um, and if you go here, you can press files and see all the software I make. And right now I'm actually going to teach you how to make software using the same coding I use when I'm making software. Uh, this is going to be a long series of tutorials, maybe 10 part, um, and it's only going to be available to the people on the Megabyte TV uh, website. And yeah, so to uh, get this, uh, the editor for the, the coding that we're going to use, you're actually going to want to Google. It's called Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Just want to click on the first link, Microsoft.com slash Express slash VB. Um, you're just going to want to press download because that's all you're going to want. Download. Now, um, it takes a while to download, so I'm just going to go over it right now. Um, if you took a look at this picture, this is the basic editor. Now you can make programs like they have right here. Of course, that is really, really hard to do. I don't know how you would do that, but yeah, you could create programs that that big, or you could create simple programs like this. Contact Manager looks like they have. But uh, yeah, just download this program. And once you download it, you're gonna want to open, open it up. Um, it takes a while to open up, so I'm gonna pause it. Now, while while it's opening up, it's actually gonna tell you you have a 30-day version. Um, this 30-day 30, 30 version is free, and um, after the 30 days, you have to register. But the good news is the registration is also free. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is press Create Project over here in the Recent Project section. And we're gonna make a Windows Forms application. This is the basic uh, Windows application with the user interface. We're just gonna name it Mega Byte. Whoops, Mega Byte Tutorial. <clears throat> now, how this program works is um, once it loads up, we'll give it some time here. Okay. What the heck just happened? Set it to minimize itself. Okay. Now, how this program works is this is going to be your layout. Okay. Now, um, in here in this box right here, you have your form layout. A form is what the Windows project is going to be made out of. As you can see, it looks like any other Windows application. Over here in the Solution Explorer, you have the different parts of your application so if you have multiple forms over here you have the properties of the selected item and over here in the toolbox if you just drag your mouse over that you can select several items to put into your form so we're just gonna experiment here by clicking on the form and then going down to properties and choosing text if we edit the text we can change it to mega dash byte dot TV um, now you may be thinking, "Ooh, this looks pretty easy," but you need to make your program function. Um, so if we go into Common Controls and then press Button, we're going to drag that into there. Just going to have one button. That's that's what our program is going to do. It's going to have one button. Okay, it's going to be in the middle. Now, if you notice, that that's a pretty boring project. And if okay, and this little green arrow up at the top is the debugging tool. Okay. So that starts our project and tests it for us. So we're going to click that green arrow. 
and it loads what we made if you notice um, there is our project this is what we whoops this is what we just made um, but if you notice if I press the button it doesn't do anything so uh, that that we're gonna have to do um, how we how are we gonna do this you may ask well if you double click on the button you'll get this big long this big empty white space with a couple couple words in it this is called the coding area uh, the coding area is where you could insert your own coding and actually get get a response so the coding is going to be in the next tutorial but just for an example I'm going to do a sample code message box mega dash byte TV okay we're going to be discussing this in the next tutorial but see once you enter the coding and press the button something happens okay thanks for watching this tutorial part one of how to create your own software for Windows um, please rate comment and you can't subscribe because it's megabyte tv but yeah thanks for watching